Assalamu alaikum my dear students how are you hope all of you are well by the grace of almighty allah welcome to NIEBS home school this is Shahzadi Akhtar assistant teacher of science of national ideal english version school day shift today i am going to take a science class for class 8 students my dear students our today's topic chapter 1 uh, read out chapter 1 discussion and cq number 1 okay today's lecture number 2 and hw number also 2 my dear students let's start our class this is chapter 1 <coughs> classification of animal world in our previous class we have already discussed uh, about uh, uh, phylum platyhelminthes now today we will discuss um, the uh, general characteristics of chordata okay and this is the classification of vertebrate animals this is the classification of vertebrate animals today we will discuss so first of all the general characteristics of chordata now <coughs> characteristics of uh, chordata are given below the notochord is a like a, a rod like unsegmented semi rigid structure it forms a stiffening uh, body axis throughout life or at some stages in the uh, life cycle of each chordate single dorsal tubular nerve cord, uh, cord remain present in surface and the last characteristics of chordata are <coughs> uh, pharyngeal pouches uh, present throughout life or at some stages in the life cycle for example man toad carp that is ruy fish etc phylum chordata is divided into three sub phylum my dear students see so phylum chordata is divided into three sub phylum such as eurochordata cephalochordata and vertebrata okay so <coughs> now we will uh, discuss about the general characteristics of eurochordata notochord present only in larva stage and restricted to the tail number two gill uh, slits and dorsal tubular nerve cord present only in the early stage of the life cycle example sdia and uh, sulfa okay now the general characteristics of cephalochordata notochord and nerve cord found along the entire length of body and persist throughout life and the uh, second uh, characteristics of cephalochordata are looking like fish they are looking like fish for example branchiostomata see the uh, figure here given the figure of branchiostomata this is uh, <coughs> it belongs to the cephalochordata now uh, subphylum cephalochordata and now, uh, now come to vertebrata the member of this subphylum is known as vertebrate the member of this subphylum is known as vertebrate notochord is present in only embryonic stage and replaced by vertebral column in adults depending on structure and other characteristics this subphylum is divided into seven classes my dear students these i repeat the the subphylum that is vertebrata is divided into seven classes and classes one cyclostomata then chondrichthyes, then osteichthyes, amphibia, reptilia, abyss and mammalia. Now we will discuss the general characteristics of cyclostomata. Of class cyclostomata, body slender, eel like rounded uh, with naked skin, fish like in form and true jaws and, pair, uh, true jaws and paired uh, appendages absent and the last characteristics of cyclostomata is respiration by gills they respiration the, uh, by gills for example petromyzon my dear students this is the figure of petromyzon now come to the next class number two chondrichthyes the general chondrichthyes of uh, general characteristics of chondrichthyes are they all are marine Cartil <coughs> cartilaginous skeleton the skin with uh, placoid scale five to seven pairs of gills are present in on both side of the head and streamlined body with heterocircle tail but no operculum for example shark swordfish etc now the uh, the class number three ostrich thighs general characteristics of um, ostrich thighs are mostly fresh water fish they mostly fresh water fish and number two skin with um, uh, cycloid tenoid and genoid scale um, 
sum without scale and uh, the next characteristics is respiration primarily by gills four pair of gills are present on both side of the head gills are covered by operculum for example hilsa fish sea horse now next uh, class number four amphibia these animals can live under water breathing throughout their skin but when on land they breathe by lung they uh, lay their eggs in water and these hatch um, uh, into larva which uh, breathe by gills general characteristics characteristics of amphibia, amphibia are skin without scales skin thin soft moist and with many glands amphibians are cold blooded animals and lay, they lay eggs in water a tadpole hatches from the um, from the fertilized uh, the fertilized egg for example frog and toad now come to next class now uh, reptilia general characteristics of reptilia are skin dry and with scale scales they move by crawling uh, each of four legs each of the four legs contains five toes and uh, absent in snake and some lizards for example wall lizard crocodile snake my dear students next uh, class uh, number six the general characteristics of Avis body is covered with feather, two wings, two legs, and one beak. The presence of uh, air sex with lung helps in flight, and all birds are warm blooded. And the next characteristics is bones are light, strong, delicate, and legged with air cavities. For example, crow, duck, magpie. The last uh, number, number seven, classes are uh, mammalia. The general characteristics of mammalia are body covered with hair, female mammals suckle their young on milk from mammary glands and warm blooded, they are warm blooded animals, they are uh, four chambered heart, uh, teeth heterodont and uh, all the mammals give birth to the child, for example men, camel, royal bengal tiger but there are some exceptions like platypus. So my dear students, all these characteristics are very, very important and you have to uh, memorize uh, these all characteristics. Then go to next topic, necessity of classification. The unit of classification is called taxon. My dear students, underline this one. The unit of classification is called taxon. This is important MCQ. Taxon helps to classify the vast animal world. The seven major taxa are as follows kingdom, phylum, class, order, family, genus and species. My dear students, you have to memorize this, uh, the seven uh, major taxes name and to identify an animal, uh, taxonomist should match the characteristics of the animals with the above mentioned seven taxa, subphylum is usually added under phylum. Classification is a scientific approach by which we can gather knowledge about different plants and animals easily. It saves labor, money and time. Uh, classification is essential to identify any animal including the newly discovered one. Interrelationship between different animals can be determined with the help of classification. We can determine the systematic position of the organism according to the uh, evolutionary trend. Uh, organisms can be arranged into different taxa by following definite rule. This also allows us to trace the affinity of one group of organism to other. It is use, uh, useful to determine the collective and systematic knowledge about organisms. For example, all acellular animals are grouped under one phylum and all the multicellular animals are under the nine phylum. So my dear students from this uh, discussion, uh, we have, I hope all of you have understood the necessity of classification. Now come to the uh, CQ and now come to uh, the exercise. This is CQ1 and we are given the two picture, picture uh, now P and picture Q. Come to question, question number A, what is classification? Question number B, what do you mean by the scientific name? Now question number C, in which class animal P belongs to? Explain and question number D, explain why these two animals belong to different classes. My dear students, now come to answer question number <coughs> uh, A, what is classification? My dear students, 
from the while chapter uh, while we read out the chapter uh, we have already learned the definition of classification uh, we can write like this uh, de depending on characteristics of organism are grouped into different taxons really this stepwise grouping of the living world is known as classification then the next question what do you mean by uh, this is scientific name what do you mean by scientific name the naming of animals to introduce them in a unique name globally using genus and species is called scientific name or bio, uh, bionominal nomenclature naturalist carolus Linnaeus is called the father of taxonomy for example homo sapiens is the scientific name of man my dear students you have to underline this uh, here uh, genus and species uh, <coughs> uh, to write the scientific name now question number c in which class animal p belongs to explain my dear students we uh, we have uh, seen that the p belongs to class insecta of phylum arthropoda that we have already discussed in our previous class okay p belongs to the class insecta of phylum arthropoda identifying characteristics of the animal of phylum arthropoda are uh, body is segmented and joint appendages are present number two head bears a pair of compound eyes and antenna number three soft body is covered with hard retinous exoskeleton number four body cavity filled with blood and known as hemocell all these characteristics are found in the animal p therefore p belongs to the insecta of phylum arthropoda my dear students now come to question number d explain why these two animals belong to different classes okay and from this above discussion we have already seen that p belongs to animal p belongs to insecta uh, class insecta of phylum arthropoda and animal q belongs to the uh, class avis of the phylum chordata my dear students we have al already discussed the general characteristics of chordata now we'll discuss their characteristics okay arthropoda and i have in uh, like our question number c we have um, uh, we here also we have to write the characteristics of arthropoda body is segmented and with a joint appendages head bears a pair of compound eyes and antenna body covered with hard retinous exoskeleton three pairs of legs and they may have one or two pair of wings or absent body cavity is filled with blood and is known as hemocell for these reasons this animal is placed in class insecta of phylum arthropoda my dear students now we'll discuss the general characteristics of um, animal skew that is um, the chordata on the other hand q animals belongs to class avis of phylum chordata and general characteristics of this class is uh, we have already uh, discussed here that is body is covered with feather body is covered with feather two wings two legs and one beak the presence of air sex with lung helps in flight all birds are warm blooded and bones are light strong delicate and legged with ear cavities so due to the above mentioned characteristics animal p and q are placed in the different classes of different phylum in animal kingdom my dear students i hope all of you have understood now i'm giving you sw today's sw number is two and cq one number d is your sw and submit it it on submit on saturday okay question number d question number d is your sw submit it on saturday my dear students i hope all of you have understood our today's topic properly practice properly this cq at home see you again in the next class allah Hafiz.